Although they have many vocalizations, barking is the stereotypical noise a dog makes. Animal Wise explains why a dog has stopped barking or never barked in the first place. Pathological causes. There are various pathologies that can cause hoarseness in dogs. When a dog tries to bark and is unable to make sounds, or if they've stopped barking altogether, it may be a sign their vocal cords are affected. Since these tissues are located in the throat very close to the larynx and just above the trachea, any injury, trauma, inflammation or infection in these regions can affect the ability to bark or make their vocal output hoarser. If your dog has a condition that causes chronic or excessive vomiting, it's likely their larynx and throat will be irritated, preventing them from barking properly. Diseases that affect the respiratory tract can also cause your dog to be unable to bark, cough or make any sound at all. In any case, it's essential to consult your trusted veterinarian. Breed predisposition. While it is only one factor, the amount a dog will bark may be affected by their breed. Certain breeds are known for being more or less vocal than others. This is often related to whether they are generally more timid or gregarious, but the training, education, care and experience the dog receives will also affect their level of vocalization, among other factors. An example is the Basenji breed, one of the oldest dog breeds in the world. They are known for not barking at all. This doesn't mean they are unable or unwilling to vocalize, but barking is not a common vocalization of this dog. Instead, the Basenji is much more likely to make a sound which is akin to a yodel. Although the Basenji will try to communicate in a similar way to all dogs, their lack of barking is thought to be due to their vocal cord formation. Other breeds such as the Golden Retriever, Labrador, Pug and French Bulldog, as well as mixed breed dogs, may also inherit a quieter predisposition. If your dog doesn't bark, but is otherwise completely healthy, it may just be a genetic preference. If you like Animal Wise, a super thanks can help us continue creating the content you enjoy. Use of inappropriate collars. If your dog has a leash attached to a collar and they pull on it a lot when walking, it can damage the throat, larynx and vocal cords, resulting in the dog barking differently or stopping altogether. This is especially the case with the choke and shock collar. Discover more about the danger of using shock collars in the video we share above. If your dog also seems to be choking, panting heavily, coughing, retching or having difficulty breathing while walking, playing or exercising, don't hesitate to take them to the vet as soon as possible. To avoid these disorders, it's advisable to use a harness for daily walks. You can better teach the dog not to pull on the leash and to walk correctly. Choke collars are counterproductive and dangerous. Positive reinforcement is the best way to stimulate and train our best dog friends without putting their welfare at risk. Our next info video shares some common mistakes guardians make while walking their dog. Adaptation period. When we adopt a dog, we need to take them to the veterinarian to assess their physical and psychological well-being. The veterinarian will also check for signs of debarking. This is an invasive and painful procedure which involves the removal of much of the laryngeal tissue. If you recently adopted a puppy, they may not bark immediately when arriving to their new home. They need to adapt to new stimuli in their environment in order to feel secure and to be able to confidently express their personality and feelings, including through barking. If you adopted an adult dog, a sad possibility is that they won't bark due to being the victim of physical or emotional abuse. In these cases, we will need to have patience, use a lot of positive reinforcement and get professional help when necessary to recover their self-confidence and to be able to express themselves freely again without fear. If you want to continue learning about health problems in dogs and how to prevent them, don't miss the playlist we share here. Is your dog not a barker or are they louder than most? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time.